Hey guys, welcome to a new video showcasing the Wine Tech or the Wine Gert Tech. It's a strategy I discovered and already shared on the Discord, but I thought I should finally do a video about it. Now, the strategy focuses around the Wine Gert. It can be obtained by using nameless artifacts or accessories. You personally go ahead and uncover them with the skill, the appraise skill. And you can get this. Now why is it so important? First we will unequip it. If you normally drink wine you will get different drunk effects and you can increase it until you finally have drunk. However if you keep using wine nothing happens. Now what does the drunk effect do? It increases your evasion combo and crit chance while decreasing other things. Now what makes the wine gut so good is if you do not yet have a drunk effect, that's the important thing, you can continuously use wine. And as you can see, while we do not get the drunk trade, like the high-end version, we get a lot of instances of completely drunk. And these stack. So now imagine I have a lot of legendary wine. I use all of these and you can see my chat is already full. If I go to the character menu, you can see I may have a few. And as you can see, my evasion is extremely high right now. No enemy in the game can reach a state where they can hit you with normal evasion, only with martial arts which are guaranteed to hit, which most prominently include the Confucius sect leader. Now you may say, well, we have 0% accuracy ourselves, so what do we do? Well, it's obvious, you use the 13 sutras yourself. It guarantees your hit, that guaranteed accuracy, regardless of how drunk you are. Now another note, and why I use legendary wine. This only works with legendary wine. You can try it with lower level wine, it does not work. The reason being is, a legendary wine would provide a drunk status above completely drunk, which is then capped to completely drunk. However, the value is beyond it. As such, you can reapply it. The game thinks it should apply a higher level instance, but then realizes it can only apply completely drunk, but it still applies. Whereas if you have a lower level version, it doesn't immediately apply a higher level state, as such it gets nullified. Now of course you don't have to keep your wine gut equipped so you can now switch to I don't know your imperial seal again and you still keep all these stats. Now the obvious downside is they run out after eight hours as such this is really good in the heaven tower. Even if you win a match even if you lose a match no time passes at all so you can make use of this or abuse it to easily climb the ranks. And that's the wine strategy. Thanks guys for watching, see you next time.